So today I have read myself a very classical book written by a German author. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I have written this book, Demion, by Hermann Hesse. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I don't know how to pronounce German names. And well, let's get right on to it. Sinclair, he is the main character. And he is born in a rich family, and but he feels conflicted from a young age. He knows the bright, beautiful, and safe world of his mother and father. However, he, he also knows that a darker, but perhaps more enjoyable world exists. Of drug, of drug dealers, of, of heavy drinkers, and the darkness, as he likes to call it. And he is very, very easily influenced by the both of these signs. And one day, he was hanging out with one of the delinquents of his town. His name was Franz. And basically, he thought that he wanted to impress Franz. So what he does, he says, oh, I stole some stuff. And I'm super proud of it. Like, oh my god, I stole that stuff. And I'm so brave and all that. And Franz made him swear in the name of God that he wasn't lying. And he did because Sinclair's quite dumb and Franz he blackmailed Sinclair into saying that he would tell the person that that Sinclair stole from and make him pay a sum of money and while Sinclair was panicked and he kept getting blackmailed by Franz so for a while he is in this state of mental pain and enslavement to France and it's just it's just terrible for our dear Sinclair and then our savior comes Demian Max Demian an older senior student to Sinclair and he realizes what Sinclair is going through and basically has a good word with France and tells him to back off from Sinclair and Sinclair from there starts to respect Demian a lot more now, what kind of character is Demian? In sharp contrast to Sinclair, Demian is a very force, is a very strong character. He has a very strong personality. He has a very critiquing and revolutionary mind. He's very logical and also is very good at talking out his logic. Basically, my type of guy. And Demian encourages Sinclair to look into and criticize and and see what truly is there instead of just listening and have and voice his own opinion. And Demian is a very good influence on Sinclair. However, Demian has to go and Sinclair is left alone once again. And again, Sinclair falls into a state of darkness as Sinclair so many Sinclair says many numerous times in the book. He falls into the state of darkness where at this point he's 16, he's drinking a lot in bars. And he just can't find happiness in life. He doesn't know what to do. And then, and then of course, he eventually finds a way out of it. And then he goes back into the darkness. And again and again and again until the book ends. Now, that's the basic plot. Now, okay. So, one thing that I do want to say is that I can understand some of Sinclair's actions. But I would honestly have done a few things different different as if I were him. I mean, of course, Sinclair and I are very different personalities. I'm a naturally, I have a very naturally defined personality. So if someone was blackmailing like that, I would just cave their ass or, or ask for a friend's help and get out of that situation in some way. You know, Sinclair, he be literally becomes a slave to France. Well, anyway, in this situation, and he doesn't find a way out of it until Demian forces the chain. Because Sinclair actually tells them, you know, you can't help me, you're making it worse. And Demian literally goes up to France and goes, nope, don't do that. And suddenly, we're all good. What? I mean, of course, it, it is good that Sinclair found the savior. However, he should have been able to at least do that himself. Or, at the very least, ask for help himself because it's himself that he's saving and okay i can sort of relate of sort of bluffing to impress your friends i mean okay that's understandable i guess although bluffing that he stole something from somewhere isn't exactly the brightest idea 
But I do understand that urge to impress your friends with maybe some naughty things. Yeah, okay. I, I get that. And and then, okay, I get that he was scared when he was blackmailed by France. However, this is this is where it starts because as I said, if France kept blackmailing me, I would have found friends, I would have found a way to get out of it, I would have either came up to France and gave him a piece of my mind, or asked for help from friends or from family, and got myself out of that situation probably within a, within a week or two. And then there's and there's Sinclair who who becomes a slave to France for months, months I say. So I gotta say that. I guess the point of the book is to make me feel frustrated at Sinclair because the entire story is about Sinclair finding what he wants to do, finding his color, his his own determination and finding himself. And and the entire point of the book is that and it does show, I guess, effectively how important it is for us to have our own will, our own determination and our own needs and stuff. And the book wonderfully portrays that by giving us a hopelessly, oh, literally hopeless character who doesn't even, I don't think, have a backbone and make him grow up to be this person who knows how to critically look up things, to criticize, to, to actually think for himself. One of the, I have seven quotes that I live by and one of them is by my dad and it says, those who if you if you are mindless you'll live a mindless life or something along those lines and i really really like that quote because i completely agree with it because if you're thinking every step of the way if you just do things without really thinking about it then what's the point what's the point of just blindly following someone else's need your thoughts should be prominent as well and i guess the best the best med point, I guess, would be to consider other people's opinions, but also have a very strong opinion that you yourself have made with your own mind. And of course, my problem is that I don't really like to listen to other people, but we are talking about me. And I, and like I said, the book has an excellent message, and I really, really liked it all the way. And I, and of course, I read the Korean version for this particular book. However, I just have to say that I really, really enjoyed and would recommend it to anyone my age because anyone in their teenage years should feel at least a semblance of what Sinclair's going through, this, this state of chaos and of, of conflict. So, well, like always, your book cluster earned a book cluster. I know it was more of a analysis than the plot, but I feel like since Demian is such a famous book, a lot of people already knows the plot, so I just wanted to voice my own opinion and my own views about this particular book. Have a great day!